If you've been on YouTube for many years, you might have heard of a channel called Expert Village. They began uploading in 2006, way back in the early days of YouTube, after they were already a somewhat established website. They stopped uploading in 2014, but at some point this year, in 2020, something very strange happened. If you enjoy mysteries, true crime, disappearances and the occasional conspiracy, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications for more content like this. I also have a Patreon, so if you're interested in supporting the channel and accessing some bonus content, a link for that will be in the description. Back in the early days of YouTube, before there were so many different channels offering tutorials in almost any niche you can think of, Expert Village, we'll call it EV, was the channel you'd go to to find out how to do anything from unblocking a sink to playing football to applying makeup. The videos were a bit hit and miss, some more useful than others, but that was kind of to be expected when the channel paid self-proclaimed experts to make these clips to feature on the channel. There really are some hilarious examples of the videos that kind of missed the mark, whether they failed in what they were trying to teach or just didn't do so very well. Hi, this is Alice McRae. I'm a social dynamics instructor. And on behalf of expertvillage.com, today I'm talking about picking up women in bars and clubs. Flirting. What is it? Now, who are the best flirts in the world? They're actually little kids. Anyway, I think you get the gist of what EV was, and for some time, seeing as it had little competition, the channel did pretty well, with its most popular video bringing in 48 million views. In 2007, it became one of the most viewed and most subscribed to channels on YouTube, but seven years later, they just stopped uploading completely. If you're interested in the full story of the rise and fall of the channel, I'd really recommend checking out Wavy Web Surf's video, but to summarise, things started going downhill around 2010 when their views were getting lower and lower. The Expert Village website was already pretty much dead at this point thanks to the rise of YouTube, and that's of course the reason they began uploading on YouTube. As more and more people created their own channels, each showing better quality, more useful and more specific tutorials than EV, people became less interested in EV's videos and eventually they just stopped uploading. This once massive channel, now dead, sits in a strange state of purgatory. It's still technically owned by Demand Media, which changed their name in 2016 to Leaf Group. There's currently no plans to do anything with the Expert Village brand. Nobody really knows what's in store for Expert Village, but it's likely that it's gonna remain a ghost town. But it didn't. At some point between when Wavy's video was uploaded in January 2020 and December 2020 when it first came to my attention, they began uploading new videos. A lot of new videos. In fact, if you go to the channel right now, you'll probably see multiple videos uploaded in the last minute, each with their own descriptions. These videos are the same style as they always were, just mostly poor quality tutorials. The video quality, clothes worn by the people in the videos, as well as the settings and items that are shown, reveal that these new videos were probably filmed around the same time as the old ones. They definitely don't look recent. EV always uploaded frequently. When Wavy made his video, they had 138,530 videos. But at the time of writing the notes for this video, there are 225,904 videos on the channel. I'm not sure precisely when the channel began uploading these videos again, but we know it was sometime in 2020 after Wavy's video. For them to upload over 85,000 more videos within a matter of months, possibly even weeks, is pretty baffling. But the crazy upload rate is not the only strange thing about the channel. On the About section, they have links to the eHow website plus the eHow Twitter page, as well as eHow's YouTube channels linked under the Channels section, which makes sense considering EV is owned by eHow. As a side note, if you don't know what eHow is, it's a website that was launched in 1999 that basically served the same purpose as EV, only it used written tutorials rather than videos. Anyway, on the About section of the EV channel, they also have a Facebook page linked, but it doesn't seem to be anything to do with EV or eHow or Leaf Group, the company that operates both these brands. The page is called Health, Food, Wellness, Beauty Tips, and its tag is AliExpress Secret. 
AliExpress is an online retail service based in China. It's basically like Amazon, but with much cheaper prices for most items. I've ordered from there before, and apart from long shipping times, which is to be expected with products shipped from China, I've had a pretty positive experience buying items that you can't really go wrong with, but I'd recommend against anything electrical or any makeup or skincare, etc., as the site hardly has the best reputation in general. While it is maybe a pretty dodgy site, I doubt AliExpress is affiliated with this Facebook page. If anything, the name AliExpress Secrets sounds like a page where you might find discount codes and other useful things for the site. We can see that the page was created on 24th of October 2019 and changed its name from AliExpress Secrets to Health, Food, Wellness, Beauty Tips on 24th of February 2020. Despite the page supposedly being created in October 2019, Wayback Machine has archives of the URL dating back to the 3rd of August 2017. I'm not really sure why this is, I assume there was another page by that name that got deleted then this new one was created. A capture from May 2019 showed that at this time the link wasn't working or the page had been removed. Assuming the old one was removed, I'm not sure if it would be possible for a new page to have the exact same URL, but I'm guessing so. I wasn't able to find any posts that may have been deleted since the page changed its name. There are only a couple of posts, two of which are motivational quote photos, one is asking about New Year's resolutions, and there are two posts from the 24th of February, the day the name changed, that have been removed. In the About section, they have a website linked, which Facebook doesn't allow you to access through their site as it goes against the community guidelines. Of course, this was a bit of a red flag, but curiosity got the best of me and like an idiot, I pasted it into the address bar to visit it anyway. And I don't know what it was, but it looked like some kind of scam. I didn't want to seriously risk getting a virus or anything, so I didn't click further. I'll leave a link in the description if anyone wants to try and look into this further, but proceed with caution. Like I say, I don't know what this website is or how dangerous it might be. Anyway, back to the Facebook page. If you click shop now, you will be taken to autoimmuneevolution.com, which appears to be a collection of links to other websites where you can buy products or services related to many different categories. I clicked a few of those and most seemed to be websites that looked pretty dated and don't have the best formatting. They look like the kind of sites you arrive at after clicking some advert along the lines of Yorkshire mum finds legal loophole and earns millions with a photo of a woman looking out of a window of a private jet, then you end up nearly signing up to a pyramid scheme or something. Anyway, I digress, but the point is, this all seems pretty shady. I couldn't find any mention of Expert Village, eHowl or Leaf Group on the Facebook page. There are a few posts by followers in the community tab that all seem completely unrelated to each other. One post is from a woman asking if her charity can be shared, another is an incoherent post about the civil war, this post mentions the Spanish flu pandemic, and this one simply reads, a really great show. They all just seem totally random, and I really don't know what else to say about this Facebook page. It's possible that whoever created the page did so to later sell the domain, a technique known as name squatting, but I have no idea why it's linked on the EV YouTube channel when it doesn't at all seem to be related. I sent a message to the page asking what it was for and how it was linked to Expert Village, but so far I only got this as a reply, more advertising it seems. There have been a couple of Reddit posts about this channel, one of which was posted on r slash Nexpo and was from a user who found that they were subscribed to EV but had never heard of the channel. It's a little strange but it's possible that the user accidentally subscribed without realising or might have been subscribed years ago and forgot about the channel when they didn't post for five years. Looking at the social blade for this channel, we can see that they're losing subscribers frequently. I'm not sure how accurate Social Blade is in terms of specifically when people unsubscribed, as it's strange that they seem to lose 10 or 20,000 every couple of days, then there's days in between where the sub count remains the same. Looking at the general stats, we can see that it's estimated that they earn 275 to 4.4 thousand pounds a month. I'd be surprised if this is correct, considering there doesn't seem to be ads on the newer videos and they don't have channel memberships or anything, it's possible they make some money from a YouTube premium cut and it seems that some of their older videos are monetized. but I'm not sure how many of those are still being viewed over a decade later. They gained 10,000 subscribers in December 2019, February 2020, April and May, and since then it appears they've been losing subscribers, minus 10,000 in August and November, then minus 40,000 between the 7th of December and the 13th of December 2020. 
I did wonder if EV may have been buying subscribers, hence the 10k peak in subs, which could also explain the massive drop in the week in December. I think YouTube deletes accounts that are found to be spam or bots, so it's possible that many of the accounts got deleted. Between the 28th of July and the 3rd of August 2020, their total views went down by nearly 3.8 billion, suggesting they may have deleted videos or their videos were removed by YouTube. Is it possible that they deleted videos here to re-upload them later? So what does all this even mean? Why did a dead channel suddenly start uploading videos again at an incomprehensible rate? Honestly, I have no idea, this is still a mystery. I have a few theories, but I'd welcome any more from anyone who might be able to figure this out. Given the number of videos that are being uploaded every minute, I think it's safe to assume that this is the work of a bot, possibly even using multiple computers. There's no way that a human could be possibly uploading this often. It seems that some of the videos are re-uploads from other eHow channels. If you search on YouTube, you can find duplicate videos, but not for all of them. According to Google, eHow has 170,000 videos, but there are nearly 254,000 videos on the EV channel, so these can't all be re-uploads from eHow. There do appear to be some videos posted by EV that have been re-uploaded, which is kind of risky as I think YouTube has a policy against re-uploading content. I did wonder if some of these videos are ones that people submitted years ago that they never got around to uploading. Some of these videos seem to be from longer videos cut into shorter clips, so they can get more videos out of one, if that makes sense. They apparently used to pay people up to $300 for each video, which is quite amazing considering the quality of some of them. But I did wonder if there might be some kind of clause in the terms and conditions that maybe stated that after a number of years had passed that they no longer had to pay for the video. This is just pure speculation though, as I wasn't able to find the terms and conditions from when the channel was active previously. It looks like some of the videos that were uploaded recently were not originally created for EV. Take this one for example. Hi, I'm Monica D. Higgins with Don't Remodel Without Us.com and I'm here at Blueprint Furniture in Los Angeles, California to share a cool idea for decorating an apartment patio. The woman is from Don't Remodel Without Us.com. When you search that URL, you get redirected to this site. So I'm guessing the company no longer exists and just sold the domain or rebranded. EV videos with intros would typically mention EV and there'd be the watermark on the video, so it's possible that they bought these clips from other channels or websites, probably at a cheap price considering the videos all seem pretty dated. Or it's even possible that they're just stealing these videos from other channels or other websites. Seen as most of the newer videos are only a minute or two long, they also look like they came from longer videos, maybe this is how they got around the copyright. To be honest, fair use on YouTube is pretty vague and confusing and I don't completely understand it myself, hence I try and avoid using other people's content as much as possible. But from what I have seen in other videos that I've watched, it does seem that using clips from older videos would be less likely to get you a strike. If these other channels or websites have been dead for some time, it's entirely possible that whoever actually created these clips to begin with isn't even aware that they're being used on the EV channel right now. So as for the how, I think these videos are a mix between old videos that were submitted to EV but never uploaded, re-uploads from eHow channels, and videos that have either been bought or stolen from other channels or other websites. But it's the why that really baffles me. Now I'm sure the short answer to the question would be profit, somehow. It's the only reason that a channel like this exists. They're not some kind of small creator that genuinely has a passion for making videos, they're a content farm. But it's just such a strange method. I mean sure, I guess if you put out hundreds and hundreds of videos every day that maybe the algorithm will pick it up and some people will end up watching them. If there's no reason for them to stick around and subscribe and they're just gonna watch one video and then completely ignore the rest from there on, what's the point? Gone are the days of quantity over quality on YouTube and I think that was part of the reason for EV's initial downfall. So either they haven't learnt the lesson and they've also just dialed it up a notch or there's something else going on here. Even after not posting for 5 years, they still had over 3 million subscribers. Now I'm sure some of those might have been inactive channels but surely there had to be some people that were still subscribed because they genuinely enjoyed the content. If EV had just found their own niche, maybe they could have revived the channel successfully because this is not going to work. And if all this was their plan, then it's clearly not working because they're losing subscribers daily. The thing that just doesn't make sense though is that EV was an established brand. Yeah, maybe they weren't the most highly regarded channel, many of their videos had more dislikes than likes, but they could have done something with a brand that was already established. 
Why ruin whatever level of reputation they had by mass uploading and potentially even stealing content? Even if they're not stealing content, uploading duplicate videos can probably lead to the termination of their channel, so they're playing a risky game here. It's not impossible that it could be some kind of guerrilla marketing. They've created a little internet mystery here. It's possible that could give them some views and maybe subscribers and generally get people talking about the channel again. I'm sure that's probably why some of their old videos were so bad. It made people want to watch them to get a laugh out of it. Maybe they plan to start making their own original content in the near future, and this is just a way of getting people talking about the channel until that happens, but I suppose we'll just have to wait and see if they do actually end up uploading anything new. Some people have even suggested that it might be an attempt at an ARG, presumably for publicity, but it just doesn't really feel like that. There are plenty of comments on the videos and none of them are ever responded to. I even emailed eHow to ask what's going on and at the time of uploading this I've still not had a reply. ARGs often have some level of communication and there's some kind of hints that it is actually an ARG. There's something to solve, there's something to interpret. It's not just a bunch of random videos that don't have any kind of hidden meaning behind them. Maybe it's possible that the channel's been hacked. This would explain the seemingly unrelated Facebook page and also the profile photo on the channel which is now just a generic one rather than the brand that they had before. But surely the Facebook page could lead back to the hacker and I just don't really know what reason a hacker would have to upload all these videos on this channel specifically. Surely Leaf Group or Ehow would have intervened by now if this was the case. They probably know about the situation already but I'm sure I'm not the only person to have contacted them about it. We can rule out them selling the channel to someone else who decided to start mass uploading all these videos considering it still claims to be powered by eHow. We can also rule out a suggestion I've heard that it's a test channel set up by YouTube, kinda like WebDriver Torso, because it was already an established channel. It's not beyond the realms of possibility that Leaf Group or eHow could be using this channel as a test now, maybe testing the algorithm or testing how much they can get away with posting or something. A slightly more plausible theory might be that Wavy's video resulted in higher searches for Expert Village and this might have triggered their algorithm to start uploading again. According to Wikipedia, Leaf Group employs an algorithm that identifies topics with high advertising potential based on search engine query data and bids on advertising auctions. It's possible that the channel gained some new interest after Wavy's video and the algorithm started pumping out videos as a result. Maybe it's not exactly the best algorithm and if it was coded to maximise views, it just began mass uploading because that would surely result in the most views. It doesn't explain everything, surely someone would have had to set this process going again and I'm not entirely convinced that Wavy's video would trigger such a huge response. You would also think that if this was Expert Village's way of coming back, that they would have announced it somewhere, that they'd maybe be rebranding or something at least. It just seems a really weird way of going about this. I couldn't find anything online at all about this from Leaf Group or eHow, so it doesn't seem like they're actually relaunching the channel or anything. This theory also doesn't explain the sheer number of videos uploaded every minute. I'm still pretty confused about the AliExpress secret Facebook page. The only explanation I can think of for that is the hacking theory, but then I don't believe that to be the case for other reasons. So beyond all of this speculation, I really just don't know what to make of this situation. Small update, I've been checking the channel pretty regularly for the last few days and each time there were videos uploaded seconds ago but when I checked again just now, the day before this video will be uploaded, they haven't posted for 3 hours. I don't know if they've finally run out of content or the channel has been flagged up as spam or what's going on but we'll have to wait and see if they continue posting or if that's it for now. And another update, they started uploading again. I don't really know why they stopped for a few hours but they're back at it. The number of videos on the channel now is thousands less than it was before, suggesting this might just be a constant process of deleting videos and re-uploading them, so make of that what you will. I'd be really interested to hear your theories in the comments. Honestly, I think this whole thing is probably a lot less mysterious than it seems, and there's probably a pretty logical explanation behind it all, but I've dived right down the rabbit hole on this one and I've been so intrigued by it all. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on Thursday for a new video.